Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from William Lowell Putna Mathematical Competition 2009 Problem A2. Functions f, g and h are differentiable on some open interval around zero and they satisfy the following equations with initial conditions. So f prime equals 2 f squared g h plus 1 over g h with f of zero equals 1 and so on they are stated here. We wish to find an explicit formula for f valid in some open interval around zero. So it's a nice problem. Here are my hints. First of all, we have this generalized product rule for three, three terms, three functions. f g h prime is f prime g h plus f g prime h plus f g h prime. Then, uh, the derivative of arctangent composed with function phi is phi derivative of phi over 1 plus phi squared of x, and the derivative of natural log of k is k prime over k of x. And last, la last hint, you may wish to try to add these equations together after getting rid of these denominators right here. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here, are, here is my solution. So as I suggested, we can write our system of equations as follows. f prime gh equals 2 fgh squared plus 1 f g prime h is f g h squared plus 4 f g h prime equals 3 times f g h squared plus 1. So I have multiplied everything by these denominators. Perfect. And now what I wish to do is to add these equations together. And notice by my very first hint on the left hand side we have just the derivative of fgh. And on the right hand side we have 6 fgh squared plus 6. And now I will do the following fgh prime over fgh squared plus 1 equals 6. So I have divided by fgh squared plus 1. And now notice, let's compare both sides. Mm. On the left hand side, we have just the derivative of arc tangent composed with fgh. And of the, on the right hand side, we have, uh, well, the derivative of identity function, because 6x differentiated is 6. Very well, and now we have two functions with the same derivative, so they must be equal up to a constant. So, in other words, let's maybe introduce arguments. Arctangent of f of x, g of x, h of x equals 6x plus some constant. Can we find that constant? Yes, we can, because we have initial conditions. f of 0, g of 0, h of 0, they are 1. So if I plug in 0, or x equals 0, we will get the following. Arctangent on the left-hand side. Arctangent of 1, because f of 0, g of 0, h of 0, they are 1, equals c. Arctangent of 1, what, what is that? It's pi over 4, because tangent of pi over 4 is 1. So now we know our constant. And notice that we can actually take tangent on both sides. And we have the following. f of, a, f of x, g of x, h of x equals tangent of 6x plus pi over 4 for some x's which are close to 0.
very well. And now, now we have something, and we what, what we wish to do is to find f of x. So let's go back to our system of equations, and actually, I will take, I will take this very first equation. So, f prime equals, I don't remember it, 2f squared gh plus, it was probably 1 over gh if I am not mistaken. I don't wish to make a mistake. Yes, it is. And now, what can we do? Well, uh, notice that since this is true, uh, close to zero, obviously, the right hand side is not zero, so our functions are also not zero. It's, it's, well, it's obvious because we have f in the, in the denominator right here, so f cannot be zero in some neighborhood of zero. And I can divide by f, I, can, I will divide both sides of my equation by f, and notice that on the left hand side, now I have f prime of x over f of x, let's introduce variable, and here I have two, f of x, g of x, h of x, plus 1 over f of x, g of x, h of x. Perfect. It so happens to be that I know that f of x, g of x, h of x, if I mark this condition triangle, it's just tangent of 6x plus pi over 4. Oh, bye condition triangle f prime of x over f of x equals 2 times tangent let's write it in heel tangent of 6x plus pi over 4 and 1 over tangent is cotangent plus cotangent of 6 pi, 6x six plus pi over 4. Perfect. Perfect. And now, on the left hand side, I have a derivative of something, namely, here I have the derivative of natural log of f of x. And on the right hand side, well, let's take a look. Tangent. Tangent is a derivative of something. Tangent is namely its derivative of natural log of uh, of cosine of 6x plus pi over 4, because if I differentiate, uh, it's almost that, I will write something else in a minute. If I differentiate natural log of cosine of this, I have cosine of this in the denominator, then by the chain rule, I have derivative of cosine, which is minus sine. So I have to put a minus here, to make it work. And then I have 6. So I have also to put 1 over 6 right here to make it balanced. And I will put it a little bit to the left. Perfect. And now there is a cotangent. Well, cotangent is the derivative of natural log of sine of 6x plus pi over 4. Is it right? If I differentiate it, I have sine of this in the denominator. Chain rule. Uh, derivative of sine is cosine, so I have cotangent in the result. And derivative of 6x is 6, so I have to multiply by 1 over 6. So in other words, all in all, it's uh, the derivative of minus 1 third natural log of cosine of 6x plus pi over 4 plus 1 sixth natural log of sine of 6x plus pi over 4. 
Perfect. And now two functions have the same derivative. So they must be the same up to a constant. So natural log of f of x equals uh, minus one third natural log of cosine of 6x plus pi over 4 plus one sixth natural log of sine of 6x plus pi over 4 plus some constant plus let's write plus capital C some constant how can we find this constant well we have a, an initial condition so for x equals 0 we have the following on the left hand side we have natural log of 1 which is 0 and on the right hand side we have minus 1 third natural log of cosine of pi over 4 plus 1 sixth natural log of 6 pi over 4 sine of 6 pi over 4 so it's it's the same so it's minus one sixth natural log of square root of two over two, also known as natural log of two to the power minus one over twelve. Very well. And now I can write the following: natural log of f of x equals using various uh, identities concerning logarithms. I have natural log of cosine to the power minus one third 6x plus pi over 4 sine to the power one sixth of 6x plus pi over 4 and finally my constant 2 to the power minus 1 12. now i can omit logs and i have my final result f of x equals <coughs> let's maybe also write cosine to the power minus one third uh, it's secant secant maybe let's put first my constant times secant to the power one third six x plus pi over four sine to the power one sixth of six x two plus pi over four this function is perfectly perfectly valid in some interval around zero so it's our result our function is given by this formula that's it if, by the way very similarly you can also find explicit formula for g and h but i leave it to you thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye